Jason Manford always makes me cry and I love it. I have been meaning to discuss Jason Manford's debut album for four years. It was released in 2017. I pounced on it. I absolutely loved it then. I still adore it now. And there are a few reasons for that. One, the song selection is amazing. I am a big fan of musical songs, ballads, things like that. But I'm also a very big fan of Jason Manfred and have been since 2009, 2010, give or take. I can't remember exactly. So when he, basically when he discovered that he could sing, it was amazing. His voice is one of the best voices ever. I, if I could pay him to sing at my wedding and my funeral and every birthday I'll have for the rest of my life, I would. And my all-time favourite song is on this CD. So I'm obviously not going to play any tracks from this. I will be done for copyright. But I will say if you want to listen to some samples, you can hear some on Amazon and probably also on uh, on YouTube. But I'll just talk briefly about some of the songs that are on it and why I think they're absolutely amazing but I'm not I don't have the vocabulary to pick this apart from a technical perspective I know what my ears like and from a musical fan perspective I know you know I've got other versions of these songs in my head that I can compare them to but in terms of the composition in terms of him hitting all of the right keys I can't you know I'm, I'm tone deaf in that respect but as far as my ears are concerned, it's perfect. So there are 12 tracks on this and it starts off with Stars, which melts me every time. I, I Whenever he sings Stars from Les Mis, of course, I just get so emotional and it's beautiful. That's not actually the song I was on about when I said that one of my favourites was on here. But it is my second favourite Manfred song. And it's just perfection. He then sings Anthem from Chess. I've never seen Chess. And I love the soundtrack. I've heard a lot of songs from Chess. I don't know if I've ever listened to the entire soundtrack. But it's on a lot of compilation albums that I've got. And and cover albums. Beautiful song, of course. The third song is Hushabai Mountain from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, featuring Rosanna Bates. This is quite a special one. Because he has, of course, toured in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And... I never got to see him in that, unfortunately, um, which is a shame. But if he ever does it again, absolutely put me down for a front row seat. It's beautiful. It's delicate. It's gorgeous. I love it. He then he then sings a song from one of my favourite musicals, My Fair Lady. And I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, of course, to learn that the song was actually On the Street Where You Live, which is sung by Freddie in the musical. I just would have assumed that he would have sung a song by Henry Higgins and he didn't and that was quite a quite a an unexpected um song that I really obviously thoroughly enjoy the same goes for it's impossible and falling slowly neither of which I have any deep thoughts about or any strong emotional connection obviously they're beautiful um and the same from as if we never said goodbye from Sunset Boulevard Sunset Boulevard is another one of those where I've never seen the musical. Um, but I have seen... I've, have, I've heard pretty much all of the songs from various different albums. This Is My Life, number eight, is just ridiculously beautiful. And it's a song that I hold dearly. For no particular reason, to be perfectly honest. I just absolutely love it. And his rendition is everything I hoped it would be. The same for The Impossible Dream from Man of La Mancha. That is another song where there are a lot of covers. A lot of people singing this song. And there are a lot of fantastic people singing this song. <sighs> I love Manfred's version. It's absolutely beautiful. But not as perfect as number 10. Which is, this is the moment. And I'm actually... I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. This song is my all-time favourite song ever. And I've never actually seen Jacqueline Hyde. I'm a very big Jacqueline Hyde, fa Jacqueline Hyde fan. I love Robert Louis Stevenson's book, The Story. I love it, but I've never seen the musical. 
but the song I loved long, long before I even knew was from Jekyll and Hyde. And uh, I am getting ridiculously emotional just thinking about this song. This is the moment is, as I said, my favourite song. And the lyrics speak to me more than any song has ever done before. And Manford's version, for two reasons, I absolutely love. The first is that it's just sung so exquisitely. The vocals are impeccable. They're absolutely spot on. They're everything I wanted them to be. But the other reason is that this is the moment talks about, you know, travelling through, not not actually travelling through time, but the passing of time, looking back on your past and finally saying, you know, this is the moment. This is my moment. Um, I'm going to put my doubts aside and move forward and I'm going to succeed. And considering Jason Manford has been somebody I've adored for my entire adult life. I think I was maybe 16, 17 when I kind of fell in love with his stand-up. So right through my adult life, through the end of school, college, university, and obviously now as a fully-fledged adult, it kind of, his voice carries me through those years and it's just, everything fits so perfectly. And this song just... I absolutely, I absolutely love it. If I could only ever listen to one song again, it, it would be Jason Manford's This Is The Moment. I can't thank him enough for how much he uplifts me with this song. Uh, number 11, we have I Have Dreamed from The King and I. Lovely song. And it ends on Carrick Fergus, which I wasn't expecting. Um, If you'd said what song would conclude this, never would have guessed Carrick Fergus. But it's a beautiful song, very well sung. Suits his voice very well. Quite different to most versions I've heard of this. Mainly because most versions I've heard have been done by female artists. Things like Celtic Woman and... Celtic Woman. <laughs> there are others. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, so it was really quite a, quite a nice surprise. Obviously, Stars is my favourite. Um, after This Is The Moment, of course. Um, and then I'd say This Is My Life and The Impossible Dream. They're the four... That I would say, if you want to check out his vocal style and see what you think of it, those are the four I'd say check out first. Because Manford will melt your heart. He certainly melted mine. And I cannot... I cannot believe how much this is the moment touches me. The song in general, but specifically Manford's version. It's breathtaking, it's beautiful, it's like the rest of the album, it's absolutely perfect and I can't fault it.